Coach, opening statement when you're ready. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I, I was really pleased with how we played defensively in the second half. I was a little disappointed how we didn't keep our poise late in the, in the half. But to be honest with you, I thought Shep was uh, perfect tonight. Made shots, rebounded the ball. He was timely in his shot making. Uh, timely in his rebounding as well. But uh, I thought he was terrific. No turnovers, nine rebounds, 22 points. Just played really well. I thought his, his, his play was something that I'll, I'll appreciate about the game, for sure. Uh, and we obviously didn't do a great job on Forrest. They let him up for air a little bit. He's, he's a talented shooter. And, uh, and Bucknell's going to be OK. They're going to be just fine. And uh, they'll keep plugging away. And, Real good win for us in many ways. And again, I would rather we didn't get uh, out of sorts over the last two minutes or so. Questions for Deshaun? Yeah, did we just swing? I said, you gave your we just swing? Jesus, God. Um, I, I, this is why I, my only point of reference is you over here, Chris, would know this, and you look like freaking David Thompson. He would know who I'm referring to, but uh, David was very athletic, very fluent player, one of the all time greats. What was it, what is it uh, about him right now? That, I mean, you, is it a comfort zone now that you didn't feel before? Did you hear um, I feel like I'm trusted a little more by everyone since I have a bigger role now, so I feel more comfortable on the floor with the guys. And I was playing together for the last. Two years, I feel like we built more of a connection on the court, and we know what everyone wants to do. So I'm definitely comfortable on the court with the people I play with. Deshaun, Coach Dunphy mentioned that you guys had a great win, um, but a little bit of a slow start. Not something we're used to on um, this season. Um, what was going on in, in the beginning of that first half? And obviously, your dunks contributed a lot. You know, how did you get your guys going? Um, first half, we did come out slow. Something we need to work on. Um, we just. After after the first half, we talked on locker room, so we need to pick everything up, and we came out fire in the second half. And yeah. Were there any like four shots, or was it just you know overall uh, a lack of days of effort in the beginning? It was just overall lack of days of effort. We had to pick it up in the second half, and that's what we did. We came out with the W. Is there anything specific you told your group as like a leader? You know, I mean, you've been playing for the past two years, and like you said, you know, the guys are trusting you more, and you have a strong role in this group. Is there anything you told them specifically, or did you just come out, you know, on fire? I just came out fire. Our other leaders on the court, Khalil Brantley, Anwar, and Jig, got everyone together, and we all talked in the huddle in the locker room, and that's what we came out and did. Yeah, a couple of you just kind of coming from weird angles. Yeah. You're looking at their guy, you kind of just like raising your eyebrows. And like, it's Head like, nod, like, well, what's like, what's like the go there? It's like a, it's like a eye connection. We just look at each other and they know that. Throw it up. Yeah. I mean, I know it's not even. You're not up there for that long, but I mean, being up there that high, I mean, what's that? What's that feel like being that athletic, kind of flying above everybody? Sometimes I don't realize how high I jump until I hear it a lot, and, and I, don't know, I can't even explain what it feels like to be up there. Is, is the goal too high, like Dunks and Mike? Because I, I think that's what we're on. I think that's what we're, we're going, for we're going for so far. Yeah, sir. Anything else for Deshaun? Yeah, Deshaun, what's the feel for this team now? I mean, again, you have a point of reference from last year, you're three and this year. What's the Um, Something different is this year we need everyone to rebound. Last year we had Drama Twins. They kind of, they like did a lot on the boards and stuff. And since they left, it's the time for everyone to get in there and crash the boards. Even me, I need to crash more. Coach tells me every day in practice and in the games, crash more. So we just need to crash more rebounds. So. Chip, head out. Thank you very much. Fred, talked the other night about how both of you kind of was in that zone, catching a little bit of fits. Here at Bucknell, they start with the press, and then they go into that half-court zone. Kind of see the same things early on from last game? I thought we had some pretty decent looks in the first half. We just didn't shoot it very well. Uh, and then I thought we started to turn uh, into a, a more efficient offense toward the end of the first half. And, uh, we 
minimal drop off to to Herrera. He made a big, big shot there. I think he made three threes in the first half, which really had helped us immeasurably. And then in the second half, I thought our defense was terrific. And we did a really good job of that. I thought everybody was dialed in. But there's going to be slow starts sometimes, and there's, there's, but yeah, we, we, can, we took care of the ball pretty well. We only turned it four times in the first half, and, uh, so we did it seven times in the second half, and I think a lot of those were late. We got a little lackadaisical late and uh, lost our mind a few times. But, but overall, I thought, again, our defensive play throughout the game was, was very good, and we, need to, we need, certainly need to build on that. With Marrero, kind of a higher shot volume than he's used to. Yeah. You like him taking those shots? I mean, he made half, half his threes, you know? Yeah, no, he's a very good jump shooter. And, uh, he, he can do a better job of hunting shots. Uh, it's one thing to make him, but you got to get them first. And uh, he's a targeted guy. And, you know, like us saying to our guys today, uh, we need to limit how many threes Forrest gets. And we didn't do a great job of that. And I'm sure Coach Griffin will probably say something about that to, to his guys, too. It's just, you know, these guys can really make shots and you've you got to pay attention to them. So, uh, and again, I, 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 Marrero's a good shooter and we need him. We need him very much. Doug, this is a small sample size, but is there anything that surprised you so far? I mean, I know it's only three games in, but is there something that you're seeing that you may not have expected? No, I don't think so. I mean, to be honest with you, we practice with these guys. A lot of them have been with us for last year and a half and you, you practice in the spring, you practice after the season, you practice in the summer, which is awesome, you practice in the fall and then you get started on your full court stuff uh, in, in, in late September. It's uh, it's tremendous. I, mean, I, I compliment whoever's making these decisions to give us as much time with the guys that we get. And I think we do a great job of managing our time with them. Four hours a week in the summer it doesn't sound like much, but it's awesome. It's good to see their faces, it's good to see their personalities and their, their way. And I think you can really get to know these kids. And that's, uh, that's the fun part of this. Athletically, does Sean, does Sean remind you of anyone? I mean, I brought up David Thompson, but I think he's freakish. You know, <coughs> you, and so you see all the stuff in the games, you can't even imagine some of the stuff that comes up with the practice. And everybody, half these guys fall out with some of the stuff. Like, are you kidding? I mean, his head's way over. It's delightful to watch when it's done you know, in a great way. And, uh, so uh, you know, he's he's done well. He's done well. But he's got a there's there's other games where it's, he's not as efficient or not as uh, contributing, and that, that's where we have to continue to build on that. Is he the best pure athlete you've coached? Yeah, I think. I mean, I've coached some really good guys, some really good athletes. I mean, he he might be the highest jumper you know, I've ever seen. He just it's amazing. It's, he's amazing. Coach Duffy, two of your key players were in foul trouble a little bit, you know, throughout the game, Jokic and uh, Jimmy Burkis. Um, what were your thoughts, you know, managing their time tonight? Yeah, I mean, you have to get them out with two fouls. And they get Burkis out quick enough uh, in the second half. He got two fouls and then he gets his third. Decided to stay with him in the next play. And, uh, he gets a foul. And he get, his third and fourth fouls were almost simultaneous. So I got to do a better job with that. And uh, Brickus, I don't want to play too many minutes without Brickus. He's, he's a really good player. Anything else for Coach? All right. Thank Thanks, you, guys. Thanks, Fred. Appreciate it.